If you enjoy yourself, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Today we are at the California Science Center. These are images of Endeavor being transported through the streets of Los Angeles provided by the Los Angeles Times. Nearly missing houses along the way. It looks a little too close for comfort for some of these homeowners. Now this tree didn't have to be removed, they were able to maneuver around it, but over 400 were removed on the way to the science center and planted back with brand new saplings and some were planted back with trees that were just as big as the ones they had to be removed. The transport of the Endeavor through the streets of Los Angeles cost over $10 million. To help cover some of that cost, the California Science Center agreed to allow Toyota to have a Toyota Tacoma tow the Endeavor across an overpass. It's quite an amazing feat and you should check it out. Oh, and one more reverse and I think we got it. Now the Endeavor is a permanent exhibit at the California Science Center. It's not on loan and it will be displayed upright in the future. Until then, Walking through these two doors and standing underneath the space shuttle is the closest you are going to get to it. Now don't be fooled by this museum's admission price. The admission is free and there are some amazing things to see here. This is a giant two-story aquatic tank we are underneath right now and later on we go up top and play some games. Nope, I don't do jellyfish. But the marine biologist taught us a funny joke. Why don't shrimp share? Because they're shellfish. The River Zone was by far one of the funnest and most interactive exhibits that they had at the Science Center. Using this wheel, Lilith and I are discovering how water currents change riverbeds. The River Zone has activities for kids of all ages. A small hit on this drum produced a giant wave on the other wall. Show them how it's done, Mom. Wow, amazing, right? And all of these attractions are free at the Science Center. The outdoor aquatic area is great for getting away from the summer heat. Be sure to leave your phone in a purse or a stroller when visiting this attraction as things get pretty wet. The family discovery room is a toddler's only section of the California Science Center. The amazing thing about this section is it allows the little ones a chance to get really up close and personal with a lot of the exhibits without having others in the way. The completely immersive cartoon environment will leave you hoping you have toddlers so you can enjoy this exclusive room. This exhibit also includes an outdoor toddlers only area. The interactive globe inside the global zone is absolutely amazing. That's us, look, we're right there. Not only is there amazing stuff for the kids to do, but there's some adult fun to be had as well. Whoa, it seems like that was more water than she was expecting. This exhibit taught us what life is like for a barnacle. Trust me, it's not easy. 
These are just a few examples of the hundreds of constantly changing exhibits at the Science Center. Do stop in and make sure that you leave a donation because it is a nonprofit. Now, on to my favorite part, the food. This is Castle Barbecue. It's Korean barbecue at its best. We put the address on your screen so you'll be able to easily find it with your GPS. And back into the cars for our journey up the mountain to the Griffith Observatory. We did want to give you an example of this drive as it's not for the timid or weak at heart. It is a very, very windy and crowded road. You will experience a lot of pedestrian traffic and a lot of people that just, well, do not know how to drive. But we made it unscathed and with front row parking nonetheless. If you're looking to snap a photo of the Hollywood sign, one of the best places is from the Griffith Park Observatory. On most days, the hours are from 10 to 10, but feel free to call and ask. We'll jot the number down right here. Just like the California Science Center, the admission to this museum is free. One notable thing about Griffith Observatory is that it is the past, present, and future home of multiple filming locations. Some films it holds the credits for are Transformers, Back to the Future, and Disney's The Rocketeer. Let's see if we can find any other Disney characters laying around here. Me and Pluto. Me and Pluto. Pluto's about the size of your eyeball. Oh, wait a minute. Ha ha ha, good one, Thomas. That's what the doctor said to shoot for, right? <laughs> you won. <laughs> Score. These scales were set up so you could see how much you weigh on every planet. Things got a little shaky once we reached the earthquake room. You could use this seismograph to create your own earthquake. Do another one, love. And there it is, Lilith's earthquake. Almost every day at dusk. That means sunset. You can look through this giant reflecting telescope. It's 12 feet tall. You can see all kinds of stars and celestial bodies. I would definitely recommend this free attraction. Only problem, hour to two hour wait. Not to say that there isn't stunning views to be taken in while you're waiting in line. Some of the most amazingly scenic photo ops are taken at the top of this observatory. Now on to the fun. In case you don't know what you're looking at, this is a giant Tesla coil they set off almost every day. Thank you everybody for coming here to the observatory. And thank you for watching Dream in California. Stay tuned for new episodes, including an adults only trip.